Dog Goes Sledding is the critically acclaimed best and only game involving a dog going sledding, receiving many wonderful reviews for its relaxing gameplay. Now I know the number one question on most of your minds is, how on earth do I catch all of these stupid dogs? Well today I'll be explaining that to you and how to catch all the huge dogs in Dog Goes Sledding. Well honestly, what was I supposed to do in this situation? I mean my Cat Goes Fishing video has got way more views than anything else I've ever put out. So I mean like why not copy it, you know? Cause it's a good idea. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. That's the end of the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you at the next video. Bye bye. In all seriousness though, this game is a lot of fun. You pretty much play as this leader of a dog sled team and you're trying to get these dogs together. You moved out to the middle of nowhere because you were trying to get yourself uh, a selfie from Bigfoot but you couldn't find your way back home so you had to stake it out with a bunch of dogs and uh, it's great because you get to run around and do stuff and for some reason Santa Claus is helping you I don't know why um, this game doesn't have a lot of plot though it pretty much revolves around your rivalry with this one guy who keeps on trying to flip you off with mittens on and around Aurora the Wonder Dog so if you're looking for an in-depth plot this probably really isn't the place and while I said earlier that this game's got a relaxing gameplay, you know, it's true, there are parts that are relaxing. I am so bored right now. There are other times where it can be less relaxing. Oh Jesus Christ, oh my god, Whoa, there's so much stuff going on, I gotta fix that, I gotta throw the dog treats, I gotta fix that rope, please, I swear to god, oh god, god. untangle yourself, you stupid dog, oh my god, what's, come on, we gotta go, oh, it's you, Get... no, I'm not gonna lose, come on, come on, come on, oh, yes, suck it, nerd. So, yeah, look into that as you will. Basically, the gameplay will start out very simple early on. They'll explain how to do everything to you. They have a very nice tutorial that'll show you all the aspects of the game. Uh, later on, as you saw, it gets a lot more chaotic, especially since the dogs uh, sometimes uh, make mistakes and that will cause you to be slower. And whenever you're in a match against the rival, uh, it usually gets very close, very intense. Uh, the gameplay is for the most part pretty repetitive, not boring though, unless you happen to find it boring. But uh, there are a lot of things that keep each game unique, um, besides the dog team that you pick and the different aspects that occur like the trees and the obstacles. A lot of the things are different, and through these races you can increase their levels and fame and endurance skill and other things like that. Now where this game really shines is outside of the races on top of the races in culmination. Pretty much this in essence is a management game and like a lot of other management games you have to pay a certain amount of money at the end of the month. Now the month uh, dues are higher depending on your employees, your dogs, and the league you're in. If you're able to pay then you have to either lose dogs or lose employees or you have to go to a lower league. Uh, worst case scenario, you have to go all the way back to the first league because you, you can't pay for the other ones either. Um, and it does take time to climb back out of the first league because you get paid less there. Uh, don't worry though, because even if you can't pay your money for the first league, all it will do is set your money to zero. So it may be a management game, but it's very relaxed about how it's played. There's no way to actually lose the game. Now, on top of that, you're even able to breed cute little puppies like this one. Um, all you have to do is get a couple of dogs together and you're able to do a lot of cool things with the puppies. You're able to train them to have certain skills and once they're grown up they're able to join your team with all the skills that you train them for. Like said before, it's really hard to do anything to lose the game. You can like hurt your dogs and abuse them and it doesn't matter. The worst thing that will happen is that they can't race. Somebody call PETA. But you can always get them back by having them rest for a little bit. So this game is very, very, uh, not, I wouldn't say easy, but it's very forgiving in its gameplay. It's very fun. There's lots of customization. I definitely recommend that you guys check it out. Uh, if you want, I can do a let's play of this or some cut footage. 
If you want to guys want to see that, then just tell me. I'll do it. Hopefully enough people will be able to see this for someone who will decide to tell me something. Aside from that, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and I uh, hope you guys have a nice day. See you later.